thank you all very much indeed for taking the time to spend with us today um, to look through some of the issues that the sector has. To... Fast forward to 2021 and there's a £1 billion plus leap in private capital. And during the period, we see a shifting landscape in both the value and mix of financing. If you're going to fail, fail because the hypothesis didn't work. Don't fail because you never got a chance to test it. That is a waste. That is an inefficient use of, as put it, Tennessee. Yeah. Different investors are looking for different things. And this is a really important point as well. So it can be time consuming, can be a long winded process, but you've got some really great research skills and you sh should use them, right? So this is our technology agnostic um, uh, industry led R&D. So as I said, you, you know, you can apply for any any sort of project that has a health, a health background. So uh, for the last couple of rounds of BMC, I've just shown you this about 15 to 17% fund success rate for our industry-led R&D. There's early stage venture capitalists to try and bridge that gap and de-risk the opportunity to get you know further venture capital funding and all the way to that exit event.